what is the dip now? What is the underlying market trend that we're dealing with when we take a look at the the Monday price action that broke finally a lot of sideways trends or a lot of uh, uptrends that now are sideways. You know, what is that that level to watch? And and I will say we saw it here, 5%. This is the NASDAQ, basically 14,780. We saw it in the S&P. Now, don't just take 5% arbitrarily and say that's going to be the level that opens the door to 10%, because what 5% actually has proven to be is support. Now, I would say 5% is an arbitrary number, but it's a psychological level. And that's what we're trying to find. What, where do traders find that the discount is actionable? It's a psychological level. And look at this, snapped above it here, practically support here, support again here, and then we moved higher. So before we have any kind of larger, you know, catastrophic 10% move from the highs, and that's what this 5% is being calculated based off of, um, or any of these drops, you know, take a, take a look at the high and start subtracting four or five percent, or I, say, I should say one, two, three, five 5%, 10%. Remember that 5% woke a lot of buyers up. We ran into those levels where the discount was sufficient to step in. Now, what about the uh, the Dow? You know, where are we in in terms of uh, that level? The five percent drop is thirty three seven sixty nine. Well, happened again, didn't it? And this is the weakest of the indices. Here's your five percent right in here. Just kind of extend that across. So, if you're wondering not the dip in terms of trend following because that's no longer valid. Red grab candles, yellow market trend environment, this is chop. So we're not talking about retracements and dips any longer. We're actually just talking oversold support. And that might sound just like simple semantic uh, ch shifts, but no, it's really reflective of the underlying environment that we're in. We're in chop. So now we switch our uh, verbiage to really oversold buys we also switch our tools. In this case, I'm showing you the 5% measurement from the high, but we can also look at things like the slow stochastic. We can also use tools like the ready aim fire. And then I also like to look additionally, one of my favorite combinations is ready aim fire, which is the price based tool with my V score. So if I know that really just hovering above the mean, just above the mean, seems to be a level that we find support at the closer we get to the mean of the v-score that zero level do you see how so if you get a ready aim fire slow stochastic and we get very close to the v-score mean reading really interesting level to look for a bounce and we're still above that all important 200 level which is the equator so we're still in the bullish hemisphere and i think that's super important as we go into the last week of trading for September and, and then go into October where you're just going to see the ratcheting up of the uh, discussion about larger pullbacks because it is October, right? Um, <laughs> it's a trick or treat in more ways than one. This is what we want to remember. Are we getting anywhere near that 5% pullback? Because that is what woke the bulls up before. And we'll see if that happens if we get that test again. Hey traders, Ragi from Simpler Trading. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like and a comment below. And remember, subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll get notified of the next update. And when you're ready to join me for live trading, be sure to head on over to simplertrading.com. I'll see you in the next update.